all praises. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. Baraka Thai Hell, Baraka Thai Hell, Shah. Baraka Thai Hell, Baraka Thai Hell, Shah. Uh, Yasharala, you can see the title, you know, Birth Harbor. Newborn baby's decapitated head fell onto the floor after it was torn from his body during botched birth in Brazil. Wow. I mean, I didn't you know even, even if I even really wanted to do this story, you know, but, you know, Jake got to understand in these last days the Most High is not playing. All right, this is Proverbs 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. All right, a newborn baby's head fell onto the floor after it was torn from the rest of its body during a botched childbirth in Brazil. Police are investigating after doctors made the 26-year-old mother give birth naturally, even though it was previously recommended she undergo a cesarean. Or C section. Yeah. Alright. The doctors delivering the infant allegedly ignored advice to do a C section. Alright. And this is the picture of the lady allegedly. And this is a friend. And see, this is a cut on you, you, you uh, people who keep saying that Latinos are not, you know, Jakes. You know, because actually in Brazil, there's more Jakes in Brazil than there is in, um, United States. There's more Jake's period in Central and South America than it is in North America. But yet you you guys you you know, you're not paying attention to what's going on, you know. You're all about the vision. And that's how we was in Egypt, you know. So yeah, let's keep going. Friend of the mother who says she witnessed the horrible debacle unfold. Wow. The incident took place at the Santa Cesar de Massacorta Hospital in the city of Bella, in the northern Brazilian state of Pará, on Friday morning. Relatives of the unnamed woman told local media that she had been advised to undergo a C-section because of health problems with the fetus. The medics at the hospital made her give birth naturally. The Mormon's 25-year-old husband said his partner was eight months pregnant and that she had arrived at the hospital from the city of Corn by Amlam said about 6 a.m. He told local media the doctor from the Corn sent her to Bellum with a paper saying the baby could only be born if she was operated on. According to the police report, the woman waited for three hours before being taken to the delivery room to give birth naturally. They pushed so hard that the head came into the nurse's hand and fell on the floor. Wow. I can't imagine nothing like that, you know. All right. This is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, because you guys say that the Most High is all love, and the Most High is the one who actually controls the evil. You know, he do that too. It's just like in these upcoming wars, it's World War Three. You know, he's getting ready to kill everybody. You know, if you're not part of the elect or the one third, you know, there's a high, high, high probability that you're going to be eating a nuke biscuit, you know, and they might be buttered biscuits, you know, so that is a high probability of that. All right, let's keep going. The friend of who had accompanied the woman to the hospital told relatives and police that she had advised the doctor numerous times that her friend could not undergo a natural birth. And see, here it is. They keep telling them that she can't have a natural birth, and they don't listen. The same way they don't listen up in, up here to us up in the States. You know, the same way, you know, they're not listening to us all around the world. You got fighting breaking out in Nigeria. You know, something called SARS. You know, whereas though that is dealing with police and uh, government brutality, this is just plain disrespect. Didn't listen to the lady. That that's damn near government. You know, government brutality. You know. But the husband told local media they didn't listen and kept telling her to push. They pushed so hard that the head came into the nurse's hand and then fell to the floor. Damn. They only operated afterwards to remove the rest of the body. 
I can't imagine that. You know, I, at first I wasn't even going to do this because I thought it was a Halloween story, but this is a real story. You know, this is a real story. You know, where though this lady, my gosh, just, wow. I'm trying to just, it's hard to even picture that, you know. But hey, the Lord is to be fed, you know, because how many times this probably happened and it never made news, you know. Because a lot of stuff, it don't even make the news. It's just the Most High recently opened up the floodgates to knowledge and everything because that's prophesied. And pretty soon, he's going to be he gonna be shutting down all these internet pages. Then you're going to have a famine of the world. And you're really going to be out We're really going to be out here losing our damn mind. No. All right, let's keep going. The friend told police that the delivery room was full of people in uniform who witnessed everything. All right, this is Exodus 12 and 29, and it came to pass at midnight. The Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne, unto the firstborn of the captive that was in a dungeon, and all the firstborn of the cattle. Yeah, see, in these last days, the most eyes get ready to start getting down, you know, I mean, it's, 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 you won't see just just wild things happening like this right here, you know. And the way this food looking, as far as them talking about this this famine, people, babies going to be getting eaten. Like when we was held captive and we had to eat our own babies. So, yeah, it's just a short story, something that I came across. I just thought y'all should know about it, you know. So, yeah, we living in the last second, Joshua, let's stay prayed up. You know, and, and you know, hopefully we don't have to do stories like this too much anymore. Because this, you know, this, this is this is terrifying and sad all at the same time. But to me, this is more terrifying because it's the thing that the Most High is out here allowing to happen now. You know, like I said, you know, Amos three and six: Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? No, the Most High does all does all things. All right. Hopefully you was edified as I was. On to the next one. Shalom.